Today, I'm going to be showing you how I managed to get tons of gems inside of Pet Simulator X only going and using Turtle. That's right, you can get millions of gems every single day by being AFK using this insane technique. Let's go and try it out. So to start this technique, you're gonna to wanna to go and get yourself a location which has diamonds. This works in any diamond location, not just specifically this area. This is just where I decided to go and do it. You'll also want to make sure that you have some noob pets. Yes, that's right, they actually want you to have some terrible pets. That is because we want something which is not going to do much damage. We have a green fish. So they are relatively easy to go and get. And what you want to go and get on your lovely pets is a diamond enchant. So we are looking for something which gives us a 10% more diamonds. Obviously we want something which is better than 10%. This was just for this video. I managed to get one which gives you 50% more diamonds, but we are looking for something called royalty, which actually goes and gives you 100% more damage, 100% more diamonds. We're looking for anything that will give us a diamond increase. And if you don't know how you can go and get yourself something that will give you a diamond increase, we need to go and head on over to the area which will go and allow you to do enchants. And that location you can access by opening the teleporter and heading on over to the fantasy shop. Hopefully if you have the fantasy shop location enabled, then you will be able to go to that area, which we're gonna go and head to now and go and activate. And yeah, just look how much insane amount of diamonds or gems we just got. We literally just got over 400,000, which is worth 500 Robux. Let's go and check this out. We're gonna start small, and to do that, we're gonna go and use turtles. What we're looking for is an enchant, which is going to go in and give us an increased chance of getting diamonds. So this one gives me 35% more diamonds. We wanna keep re-rolling these enchants until I go and get the one that I am after, which is based on diamonds. So I'm just gonna keep going and doing this until I have a bunch of basic pets which actually go and give me that boosted diamond. So obviously this might take you a while, which is why I'm gonna do it on a smaller scale, but you guys could go and do this with the maximum 16 pets equipped. As you can see, we've actually just struck gold. We got one which is Diamonds IV, pet and plus 50% more diamonds. This one is going to be really handy. Now I just need to go and repeat this process and enchant every single one of my pets until we have some good diamond enchantments on each of these. That is a key essential part to this tutorial. I've now gone through and enchanted each one of these and they have some type of element of a diamond increase. Whether it be 10%, 10% or 50% weighing the best one that I've got, all of them actually serve a purpose. This one, Chloe, gives me 35% bonus. So now that we have those, we're gonna go and head on over to the giant alien chest. And what we're gonna go and do is go into this area and what we wanna do is farm everything but the diamonds. So obviously you could do this on a big scale, I'm gonna be doing this with eight pets to go and demonstrate how this works. So what we need is eight blocks of diamonds. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, so we've got we've got all eight right here. So if you don't have like the amount of pets that you have um, around you, then what you wanna do is just like click on all of these just to go and get rid of all these boxes and hope that the next thing that will spawn will be some diamonds because we want the diamonds to spawn instead of going and getting these just like so and then we're gonna go and head on over to the next step which is where it starts getting a bit confusing but apparently it is where we will go and get the most amount of diamonds. So what I'm gonna go and do right now is actually unequip all of your best pets. You wanna make sure that we have nothing good out. We want we wanna have nothing that is gonna go and destroy these diamond things instantly. And what I'm then gonna go and do is go and equip some of the worst pets which are my ones with the lovely diamond increase by just going and clicking on all of these. We now have a lovely little army. Okay, so I'm gonna be doing this with seven pets just because I don't really wanna do it on a larger scale. 
The next step is to go and click onto this and then unequip all of your new pets. And we're gonna go and repeat the process and head on to the next area, scrolling down. Um, there's a lot of scrolling because I have so many slots. We're just gonna go and equip all of the noobs and then click on the next one. And then we're gonna do this again, unequip all of them, scroll down to the bottom, go and equip these guys, just like so, click on this, go and unequip them. This is apparently a long process, but hopefully this is actually gonna be really beneficial to me. I mean, I haven't actually tried this out, so let's hope that it actually does the wonders that apparently it does. So this, this process is a long, process but it's definitely going to be worth it once you guys have completed it like trust me you're gonna get some really good amount of gems that you'll probably have your mind blown away like this will probably get patched soon so do it when you like um, I'm not sure if this is a glitch I mean it's in the game it might have been intentional so we've gone and done this I think we have now got the amount that we are after that we will be going and doing. So we've got, yeah, so we've done enough. And now what we want to do again is unequip all of them just like so. We now want to go into our settings and press pet sending to single. This is very important. It now has to be single apparently. Now our pet settings is single. I need to scroll back down, go and equip all of my lovely, lovely new pets just like so. Now we've done that, we then need to click one on each one and apparently it will start the farming process and we're gonna go and get tons and tons of gems by going and doing so. Okay, so as you can see, we are actually getting quite a lot of gems by just doing this and wandering around compared to going and completing something like this where I'd only get like a thousand or something. If we just leave this to go for a couple minutes and walk back over, we are going to get so many gems. This is going to be insane. Obviously, if you do this on a bigger scale, I'm only doing this with seven pets right now. You can have a bunch more pets equipped. And obviously, you can have a lot better than enchantments that I've got. Like this are only plus 20% diamonds when you can literally get ones, which will give you like plus 100% which is obviously 100% times better than what I am doing. But let's just go and walk back and have a look. And after a while, you're gonna go and get tons and tons of gems by going and doing this process. It's actually insane. And you can just like AFK here for ages as these things are gonna take ages to be destroyed, like 17.5 billion to be destroyed by like a little turtle, which does like 30 damage. Obviously, will take a very long time, so you could just AFK here and get tons and tons of gems. So basically, the moral of the story is, if you manage to go and get some pets with some amazing enchants, giving you a 100% increase, then you're gonna be able to go and farm a bunch of these gems very quickly and very easily. I'm not sure if you can like duplicate the gems by not actually like duplicate, I mean use like triple thing. I'm not sure if triple coins works with gems. I'm not 100% sure, but this is definitely gonna allow you to go and get tons of gems very easily, especially if you follow this tutorial and do it correct. Um, based off of SD Mittens, the person that inspired this tutorial here for ages, if you're in the middle and you've got like the full pool collection, like imagine doing all of it and just collecting tons of gems. It's gonna make gems um, obviously not as hard to get. Like we've probably just got 200 Robux worth by just standing here like right now, which is kind of crazy. Um, this isn't like intentionally trying to glitch the game. I, I think this was, this is just using how the game's mechanics work. So we're not sure if this is something that's gonna be patched. Um, it's just how the game works, I think. Um, Roblox, please don't ban me for exploiting. I'm pretty sure this is how the game works. I've seen a bunch of videos on it. I'm still kind of new to the game though. So yeah, leave this video a thumbs up. I'll be going and giving away some of these pads completely for free because um, I don't really need this many pads. So I'm gonna be giving them away to my subscribers. So leave this video a thumbs up and subscribe, letting me know what type of videos would you guys like to see next because um, I can do like more tutorial videos or like hatching videos, just let me know down below in the comment section what you guys would like to 